This is a critical decision making time for NHL teams who to sign, who not to sign, who to trade, who not to trade for. And that's saying nothing of the draft coming up on October 6th. Our director of scouting, Craig Button, is here for a closer look at all seven of Canada's NHL teams. And up today, it's the Toronto Maple Leafs. Craig, here's how the Leafs roster shapes up. We've slotted in the players, not exactly how they fit in on the Leafs, but more so on a league wide average basis. Take us through the Toronto Maple Leafs roster. Well, yeah, Freddie Anderson in the net, an unquestioned number one goaltender. But a year ahead of him becoming an unrestricted free agent, he could be available on the trade market. Now let's look at the blue line. Morgan Riley, a top pair defenseman. Jake Muzzin, a dependable, reliable second pair defenseman. And then after that, it's just a mumble jumble. You have players with promise, Rasmus Sandin, players with hope, Miko Lettinen, the leading defenseman score in the KHL last year, hopefully helping that blue line. But you look at left shot defensemen listed on the right side of the blue line, it's a lot of square pegs and round holes, and it's a significant problem for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Up front, I mean, we know that those four players, they're all first line players, and they produce, they're high end. You look at the rest of the forward group, that's where you can look at some of the challenges. Where is the balance and something that needs to happen for this team to move forward? And just a reminder, the list of players you just saw, it's not intended to predict lines or pairings. This is simply a depth chart and a snapshot in time. You'll notice the unrestricted free agents for the Leafs. Among them, Tyson Berry and Kyle Clifford were not included. Now, in terms of playoff success for the Leafs, it's been well documented. It just hasn't been there in recent years. But in the regular season, they've accumulated the eighth most regular season points in the past four seasons, but haven't won a single playoff series. Six of the seven teams ahead of Toronto have won at least four playoff series. All but Columbus has reached the Stanley Cup final. So Craig, you've sat in the general manager's chair before. If you were Kyle Dubas, what would you be doing to try to get Toronto over this playoff hump? Well, one, ding, 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 the defense, especially the right side of that blue line. They got to they gotta get that much better and much more balanced. Alex Petranzo's out there on the free agent market. That's pie in the sky. Chris Tanev, who could be a very affordable, solid addition to this blue line. Second, Freddie Anderson. There's no long-term solution in the net for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The goaltending market is fluid in the National Hockey League this offseason. A real opportunity there to address that position. And then number three, I would take a page out of the Tampa Bay Lightning's playbook and look at adding players such as Blake Coleman and Barkley Goudreau. Those types of players that give you more balance in your forward group and give you a better chance of success once the playoffs begin. Yeah, for all the offensive talent the Leafs had and the changes they made in recent years from the roster to the coach to the GM, it's truly fascinating that playoff success has continued to elude this group. All right, on Friday, our status reports continue. Up next, it's the Ottawa Senators.